back on the road again. We're going to be travelling from Sydney up to Queensland, making as many stops as we can on the way. Our first stop today is Manly Wormhole. Padge is feeling absolutely amazing to drive now. It's so much better. He's fit and healthy now. And the last week we've been so lucky. Um, Sydney's been flooding and we've been like 10 minutes away from the floods. So we were stuck there, not able to really drive the car and uh, we just missed it. So we got really, really lucky. And the sun is shining today. Not. This was actually man made and uh, it was made by fishermen as a shortcut through to the ocean basically. Um, it's pretty cool. The tide's coming in, it's pretty scary. But how awesome is that? That was really nice. We just sat by the sea and ate some chips because we were starving. <laughs> now we're heading to a lookout, the Bluff Lookout. Look at the view here. It's oh my amazing. god. You can see the Sydney skyline in the background. I don't like heights, but I can appreciate this. It does kind of feel like you're going to fall off the edge though. <laughs> that was a really nice view. You're not allowed to use drones in the national parks in New South Wales, but we did park up just outside, so we managed to get a nice drone shot. We've just arrived at Upper Gledhill Falls in the Garigal National Park. I think this is actually the Kuringai National Park. We've just made it to the Sphinx Memorial, but honestly, I've already seen a Sphinx head. Look at the back of it. How 
impressive was that Sphinx Memorial. It was amazing. It's like something quite unique that I've not seen before. So I'm really happy that that, sorry, it's a bit for me. <laughs> We're driving through the National Park. You know how it is. <laughs> We got the car back really late from the mechanic last night. Jason and Jordan from the past here. We've just had like such a stressful time. So we took Padge into the garage because of the oil leak. We ran into a few issues. One garage told us that it was leaking from the head gasket, but he couldn't fix it. So we took it to another garage to get a quote. And he said that it's not the head gasket, and it's the rocker cover. We did have to wait for our appointment though, which was five days after we took it there. Obviously he's busy. But it's been a super stressful time. So we've had rego, we've had to pay for all of that and sort out the insurance. And yeah, we did manage to celebrate Jordan's birthday in between all of this. <laughs> been crazy. Padge is like a new car now. <laughs> so we haven't had a chance to do our food shop so we've got to make a quick stop to Aldi now. Now choose the item. Four dollars. Oh, oh, we're on the way to our campsite now because it does get quite dark quite early and it's very cold. <laughs> I'm dreading sleeping in that tent tonight. Uh, it is a paid one, I think we paid about $43 for the night but there isn't really anything else around here so it's only choice. seen <laughs> a sign saying there's a scenic uh, scenic lookout on the left so we pulled over to have a look let's see the scenes at this lookout we have been in the mountains for quite a while just driving through mm. so, it's been a nice drive by the way did you notice i've had my hair cut <laughs> looks nice doesn't it <laughs> London is 16,982 kilometres away from where we are now. That's mad. <laughs> there is a little sign here that tells you. The brain box. <laughs> There's not really too much to see, so. I wouldn't really recommend it, would you? No. Nah, don't bother. Drive past it. Jordan is really struggling upstairs, so let's go find her. What's going on? Oh, I'm just trying to put the sheet on the bed. I can't really see. So I did it the wrong way. But the sheet is on now. <laughs> Jordan, what are you making tonight? Chicken 
Good morning. <laughs> we are currently at Amina Beach and we woke up specifically to see the sunrise. Well, actually, no, we didn't, I lied. A bunch of kookaburras were basically on top of our tent and that woke us up this morning. So we thought we'd come to see the sunrise, but it's a little bit cloudy, so that ain't happening. But we're up early, which is the most important thing, which means we can get a coffee and hit the road nice and early today. Woo! Unfortunately, there was no sunrise this morning. Uh, it was way too cloudy and really gloomy. And I'm pretty sure it could rain at any point today, but off we go anyway. Obviously, we are heading all the way up to Cairns on the east coast. So if you have any recommendations of anywhere we should go, please let us know in the comments below and we will try and work out a way where we can see as many of your suggestions as we can. Anyway, back to the video. We're going to do a short half an hour walk because it's starting to rain. <laughs> Now I am the most unsteady person on my feet I think I've ever known. So Jordan worries when it comes to slippery stuff because I just I just go for it. Oh, there we go. See? So, he's doing all right. And this one, look at this. And I'm filming at the same time. Unbelievable. Look, she's shouting at me now saying, concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> Jordan, how steady on my feet am I? Not very. <laughs> He'll trip over stuff that's not even there. <laughs> If it was a lot warmer, we'd probably get in, but it's freezing. Quick, go in! <laughs> Come on! Don't mess with me, you end up going in there. <laughs> Who just slipped? I just slipped off this rock. It was a lovely morning hike. It was really nice, loads of waterfalls dotted around as well, so can't complain. The next thing, I'm gonna let Jordan tell you because she is way excited for this. I think it's called Iris Lodge and it's an alpaca farm, so we get to feed the alpacas. <laughs> if you've watched the channel for a while now, you'll know this is right up her street. Oh. And I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived at the alpaca farm. We put the meet and greet, and for both of us, it was $59. got 
a bowl of food and there's about a hundred and however many alpacas just walking towards us at the moment. It's quite scary. It's quite scary. There's two that you're not supposed to touch but they all look the same to me. <laughs> Are you having fun, babe? <laughs> it's a bit scary, actually. It's all right. <laughs> They get a bit aggressive towards each other if there's two of them feeding from one bowl, so <laughs> it's quite scary. <laughs> And they just follow you around, and you're not allowed to take the ball away from them. <laughs> oh, you can fit anywhere. He's gonna spit. I'm not trying. This is terrifying. <laughs> trying to get rid of it. Before anymore. <laughs> I am not getting anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here's the sitch. We came to Middle Beach in order to see the jetty, which is really, really long. And we got here, it's pissing it down with rain. So we're going to rain check it, we're going to head to camp, we're going to edit a video and just cook some food. And we're going to come back tomorrow because we need to go past here in order to get to Newcastle, which is our next destination. We've got to our campsite. It is an Ingenia. We paid $20. And it looks very nice. However, it is pouring with rain and the camp kitchen is outside and it's cold. We're gonna make a coffee. We're just boiling the kettle. Things aren't all that bad. We're still loving life. But it could be worse. I could be getting wet right now, but I'm not. <laughs> so. But we were watching one of our older videos today mm -hmm and it was sunny and yeah it was we nice mm. so we need to head up north quick yeah. on the plus side we do have loads of ducks 